Hey everyone, Justine here, the Twilight Stamper, and I'm doing the last wedding featurette for So Suzy Stamps. Today we're going to learn how to create menus, place cards, and thank you cards. To start off, you're just going to print out on a piece of white cardstock the name and table number. I cut this to be about 4 by 4 ish, <laughs> and then I uh, created a fold line at the 2 inches and folded it over. It just depends on how long the name is, how big you want the font, and how big you want the card. But overall, the dimensions are 2 inches high. I just put some washi tape down on here, so this is removable tape because I wanted it to stay down while I did a little bit of stamping. Now throughout this whole series I've used this wedding dress stamp um, not only as the wedding dress but as the little swirls. It creates really elegant backgrounds and corners and everything. So I'm just partially stamping with black ink onto the corners of these to give it a little bit of extra something. Feel free to add a rhinestone or two as an embellishment to this. It just depends on the amount of work you want to put into it. You can create these cards probably about 10 per piece of cardstock and they're really next to no work. I printed out a dinner menu that I just whipped up um, and I used uh, just a couple of different fonts on there and again I'm going through with the wedding dress stamp again and stamping the corners. This stamp has just been so versatile and you can use it for almost anything. You can make your wedding invitations and your menus and your place cards and your thank you cards with really next to nothing. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these wine glasses here and these are a great thing to add to your menus. Sorry, it took me a second to get that out there. And I also inked that up in black ink and I added that to the menu in the corner because I thought the corner looked a little bit um, blank and empty. So I thought that would be an excellent touch. I cleaned off my stamp using a baby wipe and then I attached some cardstock. So in the, for the wedding invitations I had used this orangey color and gray. Of course you can customize these to your wedding colors and use really any color you want. So I did a double backing so that it would be extra thick and it could stand up on the table by itself, um, leaning up against obviously something or laying on the table and it, if it got a little bit wet or anything it wouldn't really ruin because it's quite thick. So I just trimmed it out and left a little bit of spice on each side. I mounted that again onto some gray cardstock and then did this the same thing to give it a nice frame. You can create about, depending on the size of your menu, probably about four menus depending on the size of your 12 by 12 cardstock and the size of your menu, but you can plan it out so that you can get the most out of it. To create the thank you card, I'm going to be using the whole wedding dress this time. I'm inking it up again using black ink, and I'm making sure to give it a nice good coat, and I'm going to be stamping that here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a thank you stamp. Now this thank you stamp is not from So Suzy Stamps, but you can get really any thank you stamp anywhere. And I'll link to a few other ones that you can get on my blog. I had to cut this one because I wanted it to say thank on the top and then you on the bottom, instead of being one full line, because it wouldn't have fit with the one full line. So I inked that up again using black ink. And then I stamped that onto my card next to the wedding dress. As you can see, this card took about 10 seconds to make. The next thing I did was take a card. So I measured this gray cardstock at eight and a half by five and a half, and then I folded it in the center at four and a quarter inches. I mounted that piece then onto my card base. It's a really easy thing to do, and remember, you can use your own wedding colors and really customize your invitations to what you need. The last and final touch I wanted to do was add a few rhinestones, so I grabbed one of these rhinestone lines, which you can pick up really anywhere at any craft store, and added that to the bottom for extra shimmer. Here's a final look at all the projects that we made today. You're welcome to shop at SoSusieStamps.com. Remember about the coupon code in the description for the month of March 2015. Here we're welcome to subscribe to my channel, and I have day one and day two videos featuring the wedding invitations and the bridal shower goodies that you can take a look at. Thanks so much for watching.